Hey guys, finally the wait is over. iOS 18.3 beta 3 update is over here. And it's a small update. It's just a 553 MBs. And in this video, I'm just going to talk about that how you can install this update. So I haven't installed the update yet. I will install the update right after the video. And when I will find out any change, I will share. But in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can install this update. Also, is it worth to install this update? And also, I will talk about how beta 2 was performing. So you can get the idea that how beta 3 will perform. So I'm going to cover these all things. Now, without any further delay, let's get jump into this video. So how you need to install this update is simply go to settings from here. Go to journal, go to software update. And over here, you will see the update. Make sure to select iOS 18 developer beta over here. If you are on public beta, you will not see the update because the public beta is not out yet. Once the public beta will out, I will make another video. But for now, developer beta is out and you can install it from here. Now, if you ask me what is new, I haven't installed the update yet. And also, I am not expecting anything new over here because dot three update is not a big update. It will be bringing enhancements, improvements, and minor small changes. But if I found any change, I will definitely share with you guys. So if you ask me that should you guys install this update, if you're already on iOS 18.3 beta, you can definitely install this update. But if you are using iOS 18.2 or 18.2.1, I will say wait for the public release. Once the public release will be out, you can install this update. I never recommend you guys to install the beta update on your primary iPhone. At the end of the day, it is your choice. If you want to, you can, but it totally depends upon you. However, this video is all about that update is over here. So I'm using iOS 18.3 beta 2 from last or more than a week now. And it's giving me a decent performance. If I show you the battery life, the reason why I'm showing this, from this you can get the idea how 18.3 beta 3 will be performing so if i show you the battery life over here as you can see i use like 90 percent of my device over here and i got 7 hours and 26 minutes screen on time which is really good i use facebook a lot instagram a lot tiktok i'm very much into meta which is not a good thing tiktok and some other applications if i go over here today i use 75 percent of my device and i use like 6 hours and 26 minutes where i use these different applications as you can see if i go like on this over here again i use almost 75 percent of my device and six or three minutes and these are some of the apps that i used if i go over here the where i like consume like 85 percent almost and seven or 44 minutes screen on time and you can see which apps i was using now as you can see it's a decent screen on time which means from beta 3, we can also expect a good screen on time. Now, if I go to the Geekpatch app to talk about a bit about the performance, beta 2 gave us some of the best scores without a doubt. 2387 on a single core, while 15 and 42 on a multi-core. Way higher than the average, way higher than the average. So from beta 3, I'm also expecting that I will get a good score. Just like this, uh, the GPU benchmark scores are also really good in the beta 2 of iOS 18.3 as you can see so I'm expecting 18.3 beta 3 will also give us a good score well this is all from this video I just wanted to talk about that iOS 18.3 beta 3 is out if you want to install it you can install it I am definitely going to install it right after this video as well I will install it I will come back with another video in which I talk about if there is any change also in upcoming follow-up video I will also share Geekbench score and after 24 hours definitely a 24 hour review video is also coming. So this is all from the studio and I will catch you in my next video. Until then take care. Peace out.